This is Joey Knight with Friday Night Rewind. Today we're looking at the area's top defensive players. You know, Cody is a nut for defensive players. You know, he's oh! the heart. guys like fast linebackers who can make hits, who always seem to be in the right spots, picking up fumbles, returning interceptions, uh, just guys with a nose for the ball. I think Ali Chalib at Dunedin fits that role perfectly. He had a number of big plays last year and was the team MVP on a Dunedin team uh, loaded with seniors last year. He's back. He'll provide more leadership uh, this season. Sean Holt might be the best all-around player in Pinellas County. That's what his coaches tell me, uh, and I'm not one to disagree. I mean, this kid has everything. He's going to run the ball a lot this year, but at linebacker is where Holt is a beast. He had a great game against uh, Fort Lauderdale St. Thomas Aquinas in the state semifinals last year, and uh, over 100 tackles. Always seems to save his biggest plays for the biggest games. Joey, defensive players uh, on the line sometimes get lost, but a guy like Leon Orr, you can't miss him. How can you miss a 6'6", 300-pounder? He could play on the defensive interior or the defensive edge. He'll line up a little bit at tight end for the Buccaneers. He's that kind of athlete. He's committed to the University of Florida, where he's projected to play defense. Mike Mirabella. Uh, the quarterback for that plant defense that was so good last year. He had 111 tackles, 13 sacks, even an interception. Actually, he's kind of a co-quarterback of that defense with a fellow linebacker, Josh Barone. Yeah, he's just a leader. I mean, everybody kind of looks for him, looks for his lead. You know, he's an emotional leader, but he plays hard, so everybody just looks at him to see what he's doing and carries out of him. Over at Tampa Bay Tech, the rich just get richer. Greg Hickman, a Middleton transfer, goes over to Tampa Bay Tech. He had 63 tackles last year for, uh, for Middleton. He joins a unit that held seven opponents to a touchdown or less, a unit that still includes a huge hitter in Sam Jones. That's why the Titans are poised for the uh, best season in school history. Someone not terribly affluent in Hillsborough County, Spoto. They keep one of their guys at home, Rodney Williams. Uh, a beast, big, 220-pound uh, range, fast, plays that middle linebacker, 105 tackles, six sacks, uh, two interceptions last year. Coach Del Caparasso, a veteran, he likes to uh, use a lot of rhetoric, but we believe him when he says this could be the best defensive player he's ever coached. The best defensive back in Hillsborough County, maybe all of Tampa Bay though, has to be Terrence T-Rex Mitchell, and there is nothing uh, that's even close to going extinct about his skills. Oh, Terrence Mitchell, he can do a little bit of both things. When you got an athlete like that, you got to play him on both sides. He had eight receptions offensively, but he also had 34 tackles, couple of interceptions, couple of pass deflections last year for Hillsborough. He's complemented by a great unit on both sides of the ball. Terrence, uh, Terrence could have a great year. Ball, ball, ball. I think the best looking physically defensive player in, in the area, not just Hillsborough County, James Wilder Jr. over at Plant, transferred from Chamberlain, chiseled just like his old man, the former workhorse Tampa Bay Buccaneer running back, averaged more than 11 tackles last season at, at Chamberlain, had 15 sacks, a couple of interceptions. Uh, he should anchor what could be another great Panthers defense. Joey, you can argue with me if you want about this next point, and if you do, I will tackle you again much harder than last time. Theodore Jackson, Man Man Jackson, Armwood High School, the best defensive player in all of Tampa Bay. I don't think I've ever seen a guy with a quicker first step, and the combination of that with the power, with strength, with tenacity, I mean, this guy is an absolute beast. He can block kicks. He led the team with 12 sacks last year. He's just a disruptive force. He'd be a great defensive end, but they could play him at defensive tackle because, as I said, the combination of the speed with the strength. And this year, I think Man Man is going to prove to be Man Man Man. That's going to have a, a good season. A real, real good season. Ain't nothing stopping me. You know, I, 
as far as God-given ability, he's probably the most gifted young man I've seen as far as ability goes. He, he goes against Scout D, and whenever I hop in there, Coach Scout like, great to get away from that, so I'm happy that he does that for me.